It's now two years since this man's top flight debut. In that time, we've seen him injured twice. Latterly, at his career high rank of Maegashida 3 last September. November was mediocre. But January, anything but. Convincing all present that his woes are no more and that new heights may be scaled. Kotonowaka began as he meant to proceed, riding out the parry, punishing the overreach, then reacting well to this overbend to win his first two. But match three saw him jump at the earliest sight of belt, although it wasn't his favoured grip. He rather likes an inside right. Encouraged, Yutakayama worked on breaking that grip. then reached round to double grip himself. Meeting with strong resistance at first. But finally driving to glory with his left. As if to atone, did Kotonowaka plump for inside left again here? Only this time, like a man possessed loading all his weight onto Wakamoto Haru till his foe collapsed. A highly dangerous ending, wasn't it? Unscathed, he turned eyes to Kaisei, who'd lost their past two meetings. But despite favoured grip, found shunting a problem. and lost once electing to release. Ichi Yamamoto, though, he almost read in slow motion, coolly holding ground, then barging through his defense. A clearly nervous Oho made for easy pickings next. Before Bulgarian Aoyama was matched for power. <laughs> then made to rue his wayward kick. The 24-year-old's bids for left-led inside grips were frequent, as Tochinoshin found, rammed from the left when his movement stalled. <laughs> and come day 10, Kotonowaka found himself in third. But attempts to blast out Ishiura fell short, triggering a throwing battle, settled by the smaller man's trip. As Mitake Umi also fell that day though, Waka lost no ground in the title race, 
and promptly bounded back into contention. Diffusing the left of this fellow high flyer while pushing him out. Then showing inflated confidence with outside right to swing down Sadanoumi. And convince the judges. He was almost suckered here despite matching Tamawashi's shoves. The veteran just stepping out while trying to parry. And 10 wins became 11 when good rope work took down Takano Sho, knocking him off Sekiwake. <laughs> that kept Kotonowaka's title bid alive to the end when he found Abi too hot to handle. But a second big score in six months brought a second Fighting Spirit prize. I've shown you on the tournament stage what I can do, he declared. And I'm delighted to claim this prize at the end of it. I really placed emphasis on attack this time and making the running. Even in defeat at the end, my offensive sumo was on show and gives me plenty to build upon. Now to train all over again towards a good showing in March. I don't want January to be a one-off. So let's go for more than 10 wins again. This channel would say that even 8 wins at his new rank would mark a shifting of the sumo plates. Let's see if Kotonowaka has what it takes.